And today we have the 2021 Royal Enfield Himalayan with us. Royal Enfield has decided to start the new year with a bang with this new machine. Now this is actually an upgraded Himalayan BS6 version. It offers new paint schemes and of course a couple of upgrades that were based on the feedback from the customers. Now this is one of the most affordable adventure bikes in the market. Priced at 2.1 lakhs, it is roughly 10,000 rupees more than the outgoing model. So let's find out if that additional 10,000 rupees is justified for the updates this bike receives. So based on the feedback Royal Enfield has received, they have changed the frame on the uh, tank. Now this part has been pushed forward so that there is a lot more knee room for taller riders. But one of the biggest upgrades has to be the navigation system or the tripper. It's right here, this new uh, display here. You can take a look. This is the same turn-by-turn uh, -turn navigation which has been uh, taken from the Meteor 350. We have used this extensively. It is uh, very easy to use. You can sync your uh, smartphone uh, through the Royal Enfield uh, app and uh, it is very precise as well and it has a very seamless uh, experience. On top of that, the instrument cluster itself, it remains the same. It has that analog speed dial, it comes with a compass, uh, fuel gauge and also the, your RPM meter. Now moving forward, with the new pod here, Royal Enfield has also expanded the bottom part of this fairing. This uh, is taller, it's wider and it also comes in a tint now. It's also tinted right now. Uh, so it offers better wind protection but uh, we still felt uh, a bit of the wind on the shoulders. So there's a slight improvement but not that great. Now moving on forward, they've also improved the seating. Uh, Royal Enfield has uh, added an additional layer of padding. Uh, the Himalayan previously also had a very good seat, but it was slightly soft, uh, soggy also. So that wasn't very supportive on long uh, rides. But now it's firm, it has a better uh, lower back uh, support and it's now ideal for long distance rides. Now it comes in three different colours, the new Himalayan. The first one is uh, granite black, the second one is uh, pint green which is quite uh, eye-catching and the third one here is the mirage silver which we have with us now this silver color is the only um, himalayan which comes with a contrast brown saddle now speaking of the saddle you can also upgrade to uh, touring seats which is additional 3000 rupees so royal enfield offers that as an additional accessory royal enfield also has uh, reinforced uh, the rear luggage um, rack here with a metal, a metal plate here. Also you can see the frame here, it is now more aligned to the seat. Previously it was a lot more higher, but now uh, it is uh, flatter, easier to put your bag on. And it's written here that it has a max load of 7 kgs. So that means it uh, has more uh, weight capacity, uh, the previous one had 5 kgs and this one now has a capacity of 7 kgs which is quite impressive. Marlin continues to be powered by the 411cc engine. It churns out 24.3 bhp and a healthy 32nm of torque. Uh, the initial pickup or uh, the low end torque has a very mellow response. Uh, it could have been, uh, it could have added a bit more punch to it. So it uh, builds up momentum at its own pace. But you can still use uh, that uh, power in uh, urban uh, riding conditions. Uh, it's just that, you know, we would have uh, preferred if it was a bit more responsive. But moving on forward, if you move to the, uh, go to the mid-range power, that's where you can get the optimal power. It is very happy and comfortable cruising anywhere between um, 80 to 100, even over 100 kilometers per hour. And the best part about that is uh, there are uh, minimal or absolutely no uh, vibrations. So it's a very comfortable riding experience uh, the Himalayan offers. Um, 
Also, uh, keeping practicality in mind, uh, the saddle height continues to be 800 uh, mm, which is very accessible. Uh, I am 5 feet 9 and I can uh, keep my feet firmly on the ground. Uh, it's just that uh, we, are, uh, we have kept the bike on the main stand, so I can't put my feet right now. But trust me, it is uh, very easy and an accessible uh, bike. Also, speaking about the riding stance, uh, it, is, uh, it is a very good and uh, comfortable riding stance. It gives you that commanding look. Your uh, hands are stretched uh, comfortably. Um, the foot pegs are slightly on the angular side, but again, uh, there's no stress. It is very easy and comfortable. A very supportive uh, riding stance at the same time. Now, keeping again practicality in mind, the suspension setup is uh, good for both urban conditions as well as extreme uh, off-roading conditions because of the uh, soft suspension setup and the long travel uh, it provides. So it does kind of balance both uh, urban and uh, off-roading conditions. It provides you with a lot of options and in many ways it also uh, fulfills whatever you are in a mood for either off-roading or just simple commuting in the urban scenario. Malian continues to be a multi-purpose or an all-rounder bike. You can use it both uh, in urban conditions and you can take it off for off-roading, extreme conditions. It is a very uh, stable and a capable motorcycle. It is a very comfortable motorcycle. You can weave it uh, in uh, traffics. It negotiates uh, slow traffics at ease. Um, it is a very, very good uh, highway cruiser. It has uh, minimal vibrations. So it has a lot of things going for itself. Uh, yes, we would prefer if it came with uh, at least a couple of basic uh, electronic features like uh, maybe traction control. Uh, but it does come with a dual channel ABS which you can switch it off so that is one feature there uh, the other thing that we would like to see is uh, tubeless tires uh, tube tires can be quite uh, frustrating so that is something that we would uh, like to get rid of as soon as possible but uh, these are little things that can be easily uh, ironed out uh, still we would say that uh, the Himalayan is a jack of all trades for both the urban and off-roading conditions.